What's up everyone, it's Maurice Jackson, Mo Media, Southside Chicago photographer and filmmaker. Welcome back to the channel that makes your media matter. Before we get into this video, make sure you pop lock and drop a like in this video. It helps the YouTube algorithm find my videos and also helps the channel grow. As you just saw, I created a small internet video for Old Smoky Moonshine. It's not a paid, not a sponsored video by any means. It's just me trying to build my portfolio so that I can get that type of client that I want. Um, I want to be doing more commercial, uh, more internet videos, and so uh, in this quarantine times, I'm just starting to create content that, you know, long term that I can use to show clients like, hey, I've done this work before and it looks good. For the people that are on a budget, I'm going to share the things that I use in this video just so that you guys get an understanding that I'm not buying thousands of dollars of, of equipment. You don't need these huge cameras, the robotic cameras that move when you press a button and get the shot perfectly with the focus perfectly you can do that all yourself so what I want to do is I want to show you the items that I went out and purchased for this set so the first item that I purchased is this light so this light is a small uh, general electric light I got it from Menards it was like six dollars so I bought two it is a really quality light it didn't flicker at all when I was at 120 or 60 frames um, I had it literally on the side of the bottle so that it gives it some rim light on the uh, sides of the, the bottle and also on the, uh, the cup as well. Uh, so this is a really good light to go out and purchase if you guys are trying to do some type of you know small sets. And you also can mount it as well. It has little mounts and stuff like that if you wanna get really creative with it and mount it up and give yourself some, some light. The next item that I had in the video was this one right here. I purchased this two years ago, smoke machine. Of course, it's old smoky moonshine, so you definitely have to have some type of smoke in the video. So I added this in there, uh, and it adds some depth to the shot. You know, more things you kind of have going around in the, in the background, you know, it, it, it makes the image more interesting and more desirable to look at. So I just thought I'd throw this in there. I think it's about like a good $40 to $60 on Amazon, so you can guys go check this out. The next thing I went to go purchase was this right here. This glass, I kind of found it at Dollar Tree. They say it was a glass, it looks more like a candle holder. They said it was a shot glass, but I'm, I'm not sure. But uh, I went to go purchase that, and then online, I went to go get these little small cubes right here. They're fake uh, ice cubes. And I went to go purchase those. They were like a good six or seven dollars on Amazon. Um, of course, they came like super, super late. That's why this video was pushed back because of the quarantine. Um, but it was a really good deal for the price point. Gives you about like a good, I don't know, 20 cubes. And you can use them for whatever shoots that you want to do in the future. Really great investment. The next item on the list is this small RGB light that I got from Five Below. Uh, it costs like literally $5. And it's a really good light, you know, for the price point. Uh, one of them flickered and the other one didn't. So like I just used one of them and then turned the other one off. And uh, just put it in the back of the bottle so it made the bottle glow a little bit just making the bottle just a little bit more interesting and making it pop just a little bit more um, and uh, yeah it really made a difference with the, with the video so uh, go ahead and get you one of these really small small light gets the job done but it's not that it doesn't it's not that bright though not that bright sometimes you just have to maybe if I charge the batteries or something like that the next item on the list is this small 3x3 plexiglass that I got from Menards and it is amazing it's helps you, gives you those nice reflections on the glass, that whatever's on top of it, it reflects back. If it's thick enough, so you wanna get, make sure it's kinda of thick. Oh, see that thick thickness on there? Make sure that it's kinda of thick so that it can reflect the things that are on top of it. Because if it's too thin, it's not gonna work. And last but not least is the bottle, of course. I paid $20 for this bottle, not sponsored once again, just made the video. Um, and I think, I think doing product videography is something that I really, you're gonna see a lot of because I really enjoy shooting different things and creating different sets for it. Um, shooting people is fun, but products is, they don't, they don't complain. They don't complain at all. Like they just sit there and they do what you say you do. So I'll be doing more product videography uh, on the channel. Last but not least, my mom, thank you. Shout out to you mom for being my hand model and moving things around for me. Appreciate you. That's all I have for you guys today. If you like this type of content and you want to see more, make sure you comment below. Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, tell me what you think and what you do for your product videography and the sets that you make. We can get some creative stuff going on. Make sure you pop lock and drop a like on this video. Share it. Tell your auntie, tell your grandma. Your media matters and the world needs to see your work. Peace and chicken grease.